Welcome to another IronCAD tutorial on Two Tall Toby's Practice Models dated 7-11-2024. Uh, this is a triple chamber file. Uh, this is a pretty simple model. Uh, consists of uh, some cylindrical pieces here, an outer cylinder uh, cut at the top, and we have another cut that has a draft on it, 18 degrees total uh, between those. And then we have a rib feature here that has a 120 degree angle, and a, we also have these uh, feet that have to be offset 45 degrees from here, and then 90 degrees all the way around on that part. So, uh, fairly simple model. Again, uh, something we'll do in IronCAD. Again, this is going to be done with all of our standard shapes. Uh, we won't have to go into any cross sections for any of this, and we'll use all of our standard shapes to build everything inside of here. We'll have a draft on our one of our features, some blends, and we'll do our pattern feature uh, tool to show you how to do that uh, for this model. So, I hope you'll enjoy uh, this model. So, we'll start in IronCAD. And the first thing we'll do is drag and drop a cylinder out. And what we're going to do is set that diameter on this one, which is a total of 120. Now on that, and the height of this guy is going to be, let me look for that, 66 uh, for the height. So that's our starting point for this model. Uh, so we can uh, move this around to our center here so we can see a little bit better. And then we're going to drag and drop a cut cylinder and drop it precisely on the center point. And this is going to be the top one that has a little depth to it. So we'll go ahead and set that to 108 for the diameter. And we're going to hit our enter key until we get to that bottom handle, which you can see highlighted in yellow, which we're going to go ahead and set that to a value of 8 for that. So that will give us our depth for our first cut. Next, we're going to go ahead and drop our next cylinder right on the center point again. And this one has a diameter of 100. And the depth on this guy is actually going to be 8 millimeters from the bottom. So we're just going to select the bottom handle. And to be exact, we'll just say at a distance from bottom, select the bottom edge, and we're going to say 8. And it's already sitting there at 8 in this case. Uh, so now we want to add a draft to this model. Since we have our draft plane, which is our sketch plane on the top here, it's easy to add draft to this by going to our surface reshaping. And we're going to do the sides, and we're going to taper, and we're going to do a negative 9 degrees, which will give us the total of 18 for that. We're going to use a negative to go inside for this model. So there's where we'll get that draft for us automatically with those features. So that's kind of why they're called IntelliShape. They have additional uh, information that can carry with those shapes. And you can always drag and drop those into the catalog and reuse them later if you needed to. All right, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and add our cylinder. Uh, we can rotate around to get to our center point. We can also just drag and drop to the cylindrical edge, holding the shift key down, and that will snap to the center there. And in this case, we know it has a distance from the top, so we're just going to edit again that top and say add a distance from the top here, and that's going to be a value of 12 from there. Uh, the diameter of this guy is actually 30, so we'll go ahead and set that as well. So there's our cylinder we're going to use for our base, and we'll go ahead and build our rib feature next. So to build our rib feature, we're just going to drag and drop an extrude right into the center point again. In this case, we're going to set the width of this to be 5 uh, millimeters, and what we're going to do is pull that down to the bottom, and snap it back to the top here, and just pull this, and we can hold the shift key to snap to the center if we like. Uh, and last, we can just kind of pull this out here, somewhere in here, it doesn't really matter, because uh, it's going into the geometry or solid geometry, which is fine. Uh, but we do know this top needs to be, let me see for that, is 6 millimeters down from that top cylinder. So it's sitting at 46 right now. We can just have in 40, or we could have done minus 6, either way, to get that. So that's kind of just our rib feature there. Instead of drawing a sketch and doing a rib and positioning it offset, I guess you could do it that way, but uh, this is not a way to do it. And we're going to do the pattern feature. In this case, uh, we're going to select this part, and we're going to let me get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of those messages there so we don't have those popping up for us. So we're going to do a circular. In this case, we want to do this axis, and we want to do 3 at 120. So we'll type that and 3 there, and we'll go ahead and pick our feature, which is that, to go ahead and place that. So that gives us our starting point for our ribs. Uh, next, we're going to go and build these uh, feet on the outside. So to do that, uh, we do know the, the distance on the cylindrical side here. So what we're going to do is just drop it right again to the center point. We're going to use that as a reference. So again, in this case, it's if we right-click and do the side, we're going to set that to 22. Uh, in there and then we're going to just pull this handle and hold the shift key down to get to the center so we know the reference point for that location and what we can do is since we know the diameter is going to be 139 we just divide that by two that'll put us in the radius where it needs to be uh, so what we need sorry my mouse is kind of jumping there but i'm going to move this around so i can see i'm going to snap this down to the bottom and the height of this is let's, let's see 20 millimeters for the height of that guy there so we can set that and then again, we can just pull this into the geometry somewhere in here because it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not going to be uh, sticking out or anything in our geometry. So that gives us our point for our location. Uh, next, what we want to do is rotate this 
uh, 45 degrees because it's not right on the straight edge here. If you look at the drawing, it's actually rotated uh, 45 degrees off of that. So we'll select our shape, turn our tri ball in. And since we dropped it on the center, that's where it uh, comes in. And we can just simply just move this up 45 degrees to get that to where we need it to be. Uh, next, we'll rotate onto this side so that we can drag and drop our uh, cylinder onto this. And again, this is going to be 22 for that. And we can flip the extrusion direction and just snap our top edge back down to there. So again, this should be, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I missed the top edge. I saw there was a little edge there. I missed that point. There we go. Make sure you get the edge, not the point on the geometry. So we got our edge there. Okay, so now we've got that. We can go ahead and do our blend uh, feature command. So we'll select our edges. We can select both of these first. This is kind of an object action. So we're going to select the object action by right clicking, set in value of seven, and hit OK to place that. Uh, next, we want to add <coughs> a counter bore hole here. So we can go into our mechanical tools and drag and drop our hole feature around to the center point. And in this case, we want a counter bore in here. And from the dimensions, it's got an eight uh, millimeter hole. And our counter bore is 14 with a depth of four. And you hit the blue button to preview that if you like. And hit OK to go ahead and apply that. Okay, so that gives us our shape there. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern again of these features. So we'll select that pattern feature, select our part. In this case, we're going to do a circular pattern again. In this case, we're going to do 90. And we're going to do four of those. And our axis is here. And then we can select our, our features. So we're going to select our, our block, our cylinder, our hole, our blends, and hit OK. And that will create our shape for those. And last, we'll go ahead and drag and drop that whole feature out again, right onto the center of the top. And this one calls for a counter sunk. In this case, the counter sunk is, uh, is actually a through hole, but it's got a diameter of 14 for that. So let me type in the diameter 14. The diameter for the top of that is 24, and it's got an angle of 100 degrees. Again, we can preview that if you want, and you can turn the tribal off. When you hit OK, that will go off for you. All right, so that's all it takes to really build this model. Again, we don't have to go into the sketches to do this. Uh, simple drag and drop features to build this model. Uh, not fairly simple, as we've shown here. So and we now go ahead and put in our mass density, which is 2,700 for this one. And that should give us a mass of 1,104 uh, for this model. So, so hopefully you found some of these things useful. Uh, again, just a combination of our standard features and some IntelliShape uh, capabilities to add our draft. And then we just use our pattern feature to do the rest of the work. So hopefully you enjoy, and we'll see you on the next one.